Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Xiaomi Poco X3 NFC. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 200 bucks. I repeat, 200 bucks. Now it comes in two different colors. You got cobalt blue and shadow gray. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. For the display, you got a 6.67 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 395 for the PPI patrol. You got HDR10, Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, it's IP53 splash resistant, and you got a 120 hertz refresh rate. I repeat, a 120 hertz refresh rate for 200 bucks. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G, the G stands for gaming, with the Adreno 618 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Upper mid-range specs, bro. Upper mid-range specs. Now, it's running Android 10 with MIUI 12 skin on top. Now, you got a big, giant 5,160 milliamp battery that features 33-watt fast charging. Now, Xiaomi claims you can charge your phone from 0 to 60% in 33 minutes and 0 to 100% in 65 minutes. Now, keep this in mind. Your $1,000 Galaxy Note 20 only has 25 watt fast charging. This is 200 bucks, 33 watt fast charging. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a quad setup. So you got a 64 megapixel wide angle, a 13 megapixel ultra wide, a 12 megapixel depth sensor, and a 12 megapixel macro. On the front, you got a 20 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth 5.1, NFC, you get an FM radio, face unlock, you got a side mounted fingerprint sensor, and a headphone jack. And one more thing, ladies and gentlemen, you got an IR blaster. All of that for 200 bucks, let's check this out. Now on a side note, hold up, I'll get a phone call. Oh, hold up, that's my, my doorbell, somebody ringing my bell. Yo, shoes, go see what at the door. All right, I even gotta pause the video. All right, <laughs> where was we? First things first, shout out to White Shoes, she went to go answer the door. White shoes, wherever you at. I love my white. down. All right, here we go. Poco X3 NFC. The NFC stands for no fucking chance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the budget phone of the year. Google, Samsung, Apple. Y'all got no chance right now. All right, NFC, no fucking chance. This is the budget phone of the year. Now, I actually been using this phone for a couple of days. Let me talk about it real quick before I unbox it. The easiest way to explain the experience of using this phone, imagine if you went to a fast food restaurant, you only got $5 in your pocket, and you're like, uh, say you went to Popeye's, and you're like, let me get uh, four chicken wings. And they give it to you, you pay $5, you sit down, you open it up, you got some big giant chicken wings, and you're like, yo, hold up, how I'm getting all this big juicy chicken for $5? Like something ain't right, this can't be real chicken, this gotta be pigeon. Maybe it's pigeon with steroids, I don't know, but there's no way I'm getting all this big juicy chicken for five bucks. That's the same way I feel about the Poco X3. How you getting all this phone for 200 bucks? I'm not complaining though. I, I am not complaining. Y'all see me review the Blue G90 Pro. The only thing the Blue G90 Pro has over this phone is wireless charging. Other than that, for 200 bucks, this is the budget phone of the year. Let's unbox it. First of all, comes in a nice black box. Y'all know I like a nice black box, giggity. Black and yellow theme, I like that. Poco X3 NFC. Okay, so inside the box. Now check this out, for 200 bucks, on a side note too, I know, let the hype build up. Let's play a drinking game, all right? Every time you hear me say 200 bucks, have a drink. And if you don't drink and you wanna work out, every time you hear me say 200 bucks, pause the video, do 20 push-ups, and then come back. So either you're gonna get drunk, or you're gonna get a full workout. Inside, let's see. <laughs> you got your usual books and shit, pluck them and follow them. Okay, now y'all know, I love one-stop shopping. This is another example of one-stop shopping. Phone comes with a case. Now you only spent 200 bucks, look at this presentation already. Okay, you got a case. There's your SIM ejection tool, you're gonna need that. Now, here's your phone. Now I put it back in the plastic for dramatic effect, but check this out. You got your Poco. Now, I don't know if this is a sticker or a fake tattoo, 
I don't know. It looks like it might be a tattoo. <laughs> I don't know. But this is kind of sick, though. All right, you got your Poco troll sticker slash tattoo. Okay, look at this. You got some racing stickers. Exactly what you need. All right, I might throw this in the trunk of the whip. Who knows? Let's see what else you get. Okay, little insert. Now, this is from overseas. All right, so this is going to be your 33 watt fast charging brick. And this is going to be your USB Type C charging cable. Yo, shoes, you missing out. What, yo, shoes, where you at? Shoes, check this out. All right, all right. shoes ain't, ain't down for the quality control today. All right, I'm, that's cool. Now for the device itself. Let's peel this off. This is Cobalt Blue. Rah. Let's get a little wipe down for that dramatic effect. Hold up. Little sticker struggles on the back. I want y'all to see this clearly. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Bung! Check this out. Poco X3 NFC. Now let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! Y'all know what I'm getting ready to say. It smells like savings. All right? Y'all know I love the sweet smell of savings. This is it right here. 200 bucks. Bro, it's game over. All right, it's game over for all of you other manufacturers. Yo, right now, Xiaomi has the best budget phone on the market and arguably the best mid-range phone on the market with the Poco F2 Pro. Now, real quick, just in case you're wondering, what's the difference between the Poco X3 NFC and the uh, F2 Pro? First of all, the X3, this is 200 bucks. The F2, this is 400 bucks. All right, I forgot to turn my phone on silent, so I'm getting trolled. 200 bucks versus 400 bucks. Next, with the uh, F2 Pro, you got a Super AMOLED panel versus IPS LCD. Next, with the F2 Pro, this is why you're paying the extra 200 bucks, you got a glass back versus a plastic back. Now, I will say this, they did a great job with this one because I actually used it for a whole day. I didn't even know it was plastic until I took it to the spec sheet. Then I was like, okay, no wonder it feels a little bit lighter than the F2, but it feels like glass stick, all right? It looks like glass and it feels like glass, but it's plastic. Next, with the Poco F2, you got an always on display. You don't have an always on display on the X3. Next, with the F2, you got a better processor, Snapdragon 865 versus the 730 Gaming, 732 Gaming. Next, with the F2, you got more RAM, all right, eight versus six. And of course, with the F2 Pro, you got that pop-up selfie camera. So you got all screen display. Other than that though, what's the difference? Check this out. For 200, bu <laughs> for 200 bucks, you actually spend in less, you get dual speakers. All right, with the F2 Pro, you don't have dual speakers. With the X3, you got a bigger battery. All right, so with the F2 Pro, this is a 4,700 milliamp battery. This is 5,106. So better, uh, bigger battery, dual speakers, and of course, 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, if you get the F2 Pro, you don't have that. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, Xiaomi has the best budget phone and the best mid-range phone on the market. Now, really, when I say mid-range phone, I usually mean anything under... 600 bucks between four and 600 bucks for me is a mid-range phone this is 400 bucks so 400 and 200 like i said it's game over bro anyway let's focus on the x3 pro let me pause the video i'll set up my wi-fi clear my browsing history and we'll walk through the os talk amongst yourselves all right y'all so we back in now i've been using this phone for a couple of days and i gotta keep it real with y'all on a scale of one to ten the Poco X3 NFC is a major, major, major go. And at 200 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. And as Billy Mays would say, but wait, there's more. For 200 bucks, you got a big, beautiful display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. If you're buying this for kids, you got the glass back, so it's gonna be more durable. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, and it's IP53 splash resistant. You got six gigs of RAM, up to 128 gigs of storage, and expandable memory. You got the Snapdragon 732 gaming chip. You got a big giant 5,160 milliamp battery that only takes one hour to fully charge. 
quad cameras on the rear, dual speakers, headphone jack, IR blaster, and it does have second space, also known as top protection. Ladies and gentlemen, for 200 bucks, this is the best budget phone on the planet. Let's break it down. First things first, build quality. Now, like I said earlier, I was using this for a whole day and I didn't even know it was plastic. I thought it was a little bit lightweight, but it didn't feel like cheap plastic. It's actually plastic on the back, but it feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Build quality, A1. Next, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You got face unlock. Let me show you how that works. Now I'm gonna just pick up the phone and look at it. Hold up, I, I think I look, oh, matter of fact, I, I did set it up. Let me try that again. Bang, look at the face unlock. Now I'm gonna pick it up and not look at it. See nothing, pick it up and look at it. Bang, look at that face unlock. Let me not use one of my thought prints. There's the face unlock, one more time. Bang. Bang, look at that. Bang. Of course, you can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin. And you got your side mounted fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. I, now this is one of the best fingerprint sensors on the side that I've seen yet. Look at that, you don't even have to press it. All you gotta do is rest your finger on it, turns right on. Look at that. That's pretty sick. All right, so build quality, ease of opening up the phone, A1. Next, display. 6.67 inch IPS LCD panel. Now, one thing that I do like about the Poco F2 Pro is you got the AMOLED displays. I don't really like the IPS panels too much, but it does look beautiful. The only thing, the AMOLED panels, it has a little bit more color, more saturation, and they tend to get brighter. Now, I believe this one is 450 nits. The F2 Pro, 500 nits max brightness. But let's see. Let's pull up a website and see. All right. Basically, no bezels. Little pinhole camera in the front, which you can disable if you want. So if you don't like having that little pinhole, you can have basically just a bigger forehead. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. No lag. All right, silky smooth, 120 hertz refresh rate for 200 bucks. This is insane. Let's check out the basic toggles. All right, let's see anything. I'm gonna try to make this quick. You got screenshot, okay? You got screencast, so you can cast this right to your TV. You got battery saving and ultra battery saving. You got your screen recorder. You got your floating windows. All right, now I'll show you how to use that in a minute. You also got me remote. Right? IR Blaster, you got a remote control built into your phone. Now, a lot of y'all be saying, oh, why are you always talking about the IR Blaster? It's not really that big of a deal. Yes, it is. All right? Yes, it is. It's a huge deal. It's not a big deal. It's a huge deal. And I'm going to show you how to work that in a second. Let's go to settings. Now, if you go to about phone, now this is the 128 gig version. If you want this version, it's going to run you 250 bucks. But if you want to save some money, same phone, instead of getting uh, 128 gigs of storage, you get 64 gigs of storage. Same phone though. You're not losing any RAM, any battery changes, or anything. So this is basically a $200 phone. Let's see, uh, anything we need to check out? Nope. Let's keep it moving. Now I'm getting used to these gestures again. Let's go to uh, connections. Now, NFC. I said it stands for no fucking chance because really nobody else got a chance to beat this bu uh, budget phone price. But it does stand for near field communications. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what the real definition of NFC is. And this phone has it. So if you want to use tap and pay, you want to pair up your speakers or your headphones using NFC, it has real NFC. Or you can go with my definition of NFC. Let's keep it moving. Let's go to our lock screen. Okay, so you got you see I got it set on raise to wake up. You can double tap to turn it on and off. You got your world star button. I, now they got two different world star buttons. The factory one is press volume down twice. That'll take you to your camera, but you can also set it up to custom buttons. So I got mine set to custom, hit the power button twice. Okay, let's go to display. Now, like I said, this is max brightness. With IPS panels, you lose some of that vividness. This ain't the brightest phone in the world, but for 200 bucks, we're not gonna really sit back and complain. Oh, let me just remember, if I wanna show you one more thing, it does have sunlight mode. So if you're outside, theoretically, it would get a little bit brighter. Indoors, you can't really, can't really see the difference. Color scheme, got automatic, saturated, 
and standard. I'll leave it on saturated, try something different. Refresh rate, 60 hertz or a big whopping 120 hertz refresh rate. Even the Poco F2 Pro doesn't have 120 hertz refresh. Even the Xiaomi, the uh, Mi 10, my Mi 10 Pro, the Mi 10 Pro has 90 hertz refresh rate. This is 120, crazy. Now, of course you got dark mode. Pong. Get to leave that on. Let's see, uh, you got your full screen, blah, blah, blah. Anything else, let's take it over to sound and vibration. Do I have this turned off? Yep, turn it on. Sound and vibration. Dual speakers. Bro, dual speakers. 120 hertz refresh rate, IR blaster, headphone jack, big giant battery on a $200 phone. Let's keep it moving. Let's see, notifications. Now check this out, you can have your iPhone style notifications, you can have lock screen, floating, or notification badges. Matter of fact, let me do something real quick. Let's, um, let's go back, let's go to display. I'm gonna turn dark mode off because I think it's a little bit easier to see things with the uh, white background. So like I was saying, you got the different style notifications. One thing I like about these Poco phones also, the level of customizations. You remember back in the days we had the root phones to change some of these things up? Now you ain't gotta root nothing. Everything is basically built right into the menus. All right, so you can change your icons. You can have an app drawer if you want, or no app drawer. Home screen, you can fill the cells, change the layouts. Notification badges, you can have circles or numbers. I like to leave it on a circle. Double tap to lock the screen, why not? Password and security. Again, you got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, you can unlock with a Bluetooth device. Scroll down, you see it right there? Second space. Second space, that's your thought protection. Now I'm gonna show you how that works at the end of the video. Let's see anything else, battery and performance. Now you can optimize this if you want. Do a quick scan, show you what's eating your battery. If you wanna add an extra 44 minutes, click on that, it closed everything down, switch them, switch some stuff up, <laughs> and just optimize your performance. I like that though. Let's go to additional settings. Let's see, uh, full screen display. Now like I said, if you want to, you can use full screen gestures, or you can have the three back buttons. All right, you got your floating windows. Let's go to uh, notification light. And it does have a full notification LED. Leave that on, you can have it blink. Button shortcuts. This is what I was talking about. You see I customized my double press the power button to launch the camera, but if you want to, you're gonna set up a different combination of your choice. Turn on torch. Let's see, um, long press the home button. Turn on the flashlight. I like that. We'll leave that. Take it back to the three buttons on the bottom, why not? Let's see, you got quick ball. All right, so if you turn on quick ball, you can have different shortcuts. Basically, I mean, I don't need to go through all, all this stuff. I think y'all seen this already. Clear speaker. If you get dust or debris in your speaker, you hit clear speaker, it'll emanate, uh, <laughs> emanate a high-pitched sound, which theoretically should clear the speaker. Got enterprise mode, one light mode. That's pretty much it. Oh, look, there's the quick ball right there. All right, so I could use that to go home. Let's go back. Now, I actually don't like having a quick ball on. Turn that off. And there's one thing I was looking for. Where was that? I think it's under display. All right, my bad. The setting I was looking for is under display. You're gonna scroll down to control center, notification shade, hide notch. So if you don't like having that punch hole camera, you can get rid of it. You have a black bar on the top. Personally, I think that adds too much forehead. So I'll just leave it on. And the last thing I wanted to show y'all, let's go under additional settings, accessibility. So if you're hearing or visually impaired, all your accessibility features on deck. Now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to amazon.com. Opening web page. All right, there it is. Now this is the full website. 120 hertz refresh rate, excellent scrolling speeds. Let's do a little split screen multitasking. 
Let's uh, open up YouTube on the bottom. Let's see what's going down on YouTube. All right, so we got Kelly McEnany. <laughs> see what's up with Kelly McEnany. Mislead the American people about the threat of And watch some Amazon on the top. The lives of nearly 200,000 Americans. Pause that. Go shopping at the same time. So you can watch videos Absolutely not, and Tom. shop this at the same time. At a time when you're facing I right, shout out to Kelly McEnany. <laughs> She's a, she, she's a G, yo. She got a tough job, but she handled it like a G, yo. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, now, just in case you was wondering where the notification LED is, you got to look closely. But look at the top of the phone. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me do that again. You see it right there, that little notification? You see it right there, that little dot? All right, that's your notification LED. Now it's pretty small, but in the dark you can see it. Here's your charging animation. I love that. All right, so now let's do a sound test and check out the dual speakers. Of course, we got my man Mark Rubier with the official Flossy Carter sound test. Here we go. Full screen. Speakers sound good. Let's cover up the bottom. Excellent speakers. Again, cover the bottom. You hear it nice and loud from the top. Let's go. For 200 bucks, this is a go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. All right, so now let's take a look at this 6.67 inch IPS LCD display in full glory. No complaints. Look at that. Bro, this is 200 bucks. Dual speakers. Edge to edge display. Let's go. Look at that. Hold on, watch this, watch this. Watch how the water looks in the back. Hold up, watch this. Oh, look at this. This is so sick. I can't wait to go back to Catalina Islands. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now for my new segment, RDA, Regular Daily Activities. Wake up in the morning in your bed. First thing you're gonna do, pick up your phone, Hit that fingerprint sensor on the side. Look how fast that just opened up. Let's take it over to email. Let's check some of my emails. Let's go to updates. Let's see. Okay, we got a shipment from Bump Box. Uh-oh, my Bump Box was delivered. All right, we got the doggy style Bump Box. All right, that was delivered. Let's see, anything else that we need to see? Shipment from Amazon. All right, I got a few items on the way. Okay, check that out. Keep it moving. After that, the next thing we're gonna do, let's take it over to Facebook. She did we miss any drama while we were sleeping. Okay, and see what everybody else is up to. Okay. Who this? Melody, I shot the bell. Okay, somebody had a little live stream. Of course, you got the uh, race wars going on. All right, shout out to my man, Pat. All right, looking like a noob. Let's see. <laughs> okay, mad ads. Oh, Sennheiser got some new joints out. All right, we got to get into those. Okay, now this face mask right here, they're taking it to the next level. I don't like that. Of course, I got to watch all cat videos. 
because that's the kind of guy that I am. All right, I'm gonna keep it moving. Now, gotta get out of the bed. <laughs> Time to go take a fresh dump, go sit on the toilet, and open up TikTok. All right, so let's see what's going on on TikTok. Okay. Okay, she was down with TikTok. Hit okay. Now, like I said, on TikTok, I'm only following one person, my daughter. You know what I'm saying? And let's see what she's talking about. Let me see. My, let me see. Does she, does she delete my favorite video? Oh, I'm about to say. All right, meet my dad. I think you look like a little All right, this is my favorite video on TikTok. Let me go ahead and unlike it, like it again. Right, I love this video. You know what I'm saying? That's me right there. You know what I'm saying? All right, anyway. Right, <laughs> after I finish taking the dump, get up. Let's see, uh, let's take it over to Instagram. See what's going on in the gram. Okay, we'll start from the top. Okay, let's see what's down with the gram. All right, bump box. I rock with bump box heavy. Got to like that. All right, somebody up in the projects. Not the projects, the projects. Okay, this dude got the um, the camo, the camo coupe. Woo! Woo! Okay, I'm feeling that for sure. All right, let's see what else. All right, you know, it is what it is. World star. Some clownery going on. My dude got a fresh shape up. All right, I respect that. Let's see. Uh, break ankles daily. Let's see what this dude doing. Okay, you got the you got the kitty size rim. All right. All right, shout out to Slim Free. All right, got to like that. Let's see anything else. All right, check all the memes. Do your thing. Basically, regular daily activities. Put the phone down. Jump in the car. Go to work. Now we at work. We on our lunch break. Let's do a little bit of gaming. All right, so we got Asphalt 9. <laughs> On a side note, I don't know why do y'all think that's so funny when I say Asphalt. How do y'all say it? Am I saying it wrong? Let me know. I say Asphalt 9. <laughs> Am I saying it wrong? I don't know. All right, so we're going to pull up Asphalt 9 Legends. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's see. All right, let me skip the setup. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do the training stage again. This time, we're going to do some actual racing. All right, finish in position three or better. All right, now I'm in this bullshit Subaru, but we're going to make it work. All right, let's go. Start off with the Nitro immediately. Okay, we got it. We got it. Ah, come on, bro. Yeah, man. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, they trying to nitro too? Let's go. Ah! Oh, he took the, he took the high road. Hold up, hold up. What am I doing? I went the side road. I went the side road. There it is. Ah! I know, I'm trash, I'm trash. All right, but you get the idea. All right, you get the idea. Matter of fact, let's go next. All right, we got to watch the ad for this one. No, I miss out on that. All right, miss, miss me with those ads here. Yeah. All right, let's try one more. Okay. Now, this is one of those games you got to be getting credits and all that. All right, we'll use this car. Okay, that was that wasn't that wasn't too bad. <laughs> that was that wasn't too bad. Where we at now? Finish the third or better. Okay. We still in this wax CD. And here we go. See if I can get it in the gap. Okay, double tap on the okay. Double okay, double tap the, on the window, okay. A little crash right there. You know what I'm saying? Little 360. All right, I'm out. Oh, you trying to be out too? Let's go. All right, let's do the swipe. Okay, I'm on, the, I'm on the upper road. Looks a little bit empty up here. Hold up. Let me style. Let me style real quick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I try to style. I try to style. Oh! I did it on purpose. Let's go! 
Let me stand up. Uh, you, you get the idea, though. Uh, you get the idea. No problems with gaming. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now, while your display is off, if you want to use the World Star Hip Hop button, press the volume down twice. That'll activate your camera. Let's go through the different shooting modes. You got pro mode. You got video. Uh, you could do wide angle video. And for your zoom in the video, all the way up to six times video zoom. You got regular photos, which gives you wide angle, all the way up to 10 times zoom. I right, let's find my finger. Look at my finger. Look at my fingernail. <laughs> all right, 10 times zoom with the macro lens, real nice. You got portrait mode, and you got more. So you got night mode, you got 64 megapixels, short video, panorama, you got documents, you got your vlogs, slow motion, time lapse, front and back, you got long exposure, clone, and you can edit these up. All right, so let's take a look at some test pictures and videos that I took. So now let me show you one of my favorite features, Second Space, also known as Thought Protection. Every phone should have this. Let me show you how it works. Now I'm gonna open up the phone using my thumbprint. This is my regular print. You see I got the planet wallpaper. Let's go over to Instagram. This is my Instagram. Let's take it over to Facebook. This is my Facebook. Let's go to gallery. These are all of the pictures that I took. And if you go to apps, if you look at the bottom, these are all of the apps that I have. Now watch this. I'm gonna lock the phone. 
instead of opening it up using my thumbprint, I'm gonna use my first finger, also known as my thought print. Check this out. No more black wallpaper. Now let's go to Facebook. No Facebook account. Let's go to Instagram. No Instagram account. We also have Tinder. And if you go to gallery, no photos taken. This is what you call thought protection. Now if I want to, I can lock it back. Now when I'm ready to go back to being a gentleman, use my thumbprint again. And bang. There's my Instagram. There's my Facebook. There's my gallery. And if you look around, no Tinder app. Why do I call it thought protection? Only a thought is gonna pick up your phone and go through it when you ain't around. So if you're dealing with a thought, all you gotta do, set up a thought print. Now you can leave your phone unlocked, hide all your apps. All right, so let's just say we got rid of, um, let's just, for argument's sake, we'll get rid of Tinder, remove this. Now if you wanna date with a thought, you can leave your phone on the table like this. You go to the bathroom, she's gonna pick up your phone, he or she gonna pick up your phone. You ain't got no Facebook, you ain't got no Instagram, you ain't got no pictures on deck. You look like a gentleman. When you get back from the bathroom, all you gotta do is pick up your phone, down on the low, open it up with your regular fingerprint. Now you're back on Instagram, checking out the buns. you back on Facebook, and you got all your photos nice and secure. Second space, also known as thought protection. Let's keep it moving. All right, now let me show you why having an IR blaster is so dope. Now I'm chilling in my office, this is my TV. So I'm gonna grab the phone, let's activate remote control. See, living room TV, we'll click on that. Now here's the remote. I'm gonna hit the power button while pointing it at the TV. Check this out, bang. Now I got the TV on. If I wanna turn the TV off, I'm gonna point it at the TV. Just like that. This is sick. All right, now for 200 bucks, I really can't complain about anything, but y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt. So let me talk about the couple of things that I don't like. Number one, plastic back. Now this is subjective. If you're buying this for a little kid or you're somebody that's looking for a phone that's more durable, then you're gonna want that. But me, I prefer the glass back with more of a premium feel. Next, no wireless charge. Next, no always on display. And lastly, now this is my biggest gripe, IPS versus AMOLED panels. Look at the difference in brightness. Now just so you can see for yourself, this is on max brightness, sunlight mode, as opposed to AMOLED panel. Look at the difference in the viewing angles. Even when you got them flat on the table, look at the difference in brightness. Again, for 200 bucks, I'm really not gonna nitpick. I just wish they would've used an AMOLED panel instead. Nevertheless, this is still the best $200 phone on the market. Let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Xiaomi Poco X3 NFC a major, major, major go. And for 200 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. If you're looking for a phone for your parents, a phone for your kids, a work phone, a trap phone, a throwaway phone. Say you already got an iPhone and you're looking to play around with an Android phone. This is it. As of right now, Xiaomi has the best $200 phone and the best $400 phone in the game. Period. Now I know what you're saying. So why buy a $700, $800, $900, $1,000 phone? Why not everybody just go out and buy these? Well, what separates those big boy phones from these phones, other than reverse wireless charging and IP ratings and QHD displays, is usually the camera. All right, mid-range phones and budget phones, they usually suffer in the camera department. Now, you can always download Gcam and get a better experience, but if you're heavy into photography and you want the top of the line cameras, you're gonna pay the top of the line price. Now, if you go through your phone gallery right now and you notice all you're doing is taking pictures of food, taking pictures of your car after the car wash, taking pictures of sneakers, taking little scumbag pictures here and there, then you don't need a $1,000 camera. 
you could rock out with the F2 Pro for 400 bucks or next three NFC for 200 bucks. But if you're heavy into photography, you got to pay to play. Anyway, Poco X3 Pro, uh, X3 NFC, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spark one to beam up. Energize.